Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another FNAF news video. Non-surprisingly, a video about FNAF merchandise, but more surprisingly is the fact that this has nothing to do with Security Breach. So getting straight to the point, a couple months ago, I want to say, I released this FNAF news video, and in the video, I talked about the new sets being made by McFarlane. A lot of people like to call McFarlane a bootleg Lego company, but personally, I think they're really cool. I don't think you can quite see them. No, you can't. Maybe you can see one. I have like three McFarlane FNAF sets, so again, I do really like their products. And thankfully, they have released this year's lineup of FNAF sets. And in the video I just talked about, the big FNAF news video where we looked at them a couple months ago, those were just prototypes shown off at a convention, but these are the final designs of the sets. There are six sets in total, three of them from Pizza Sim and three from FNAF Help Wanted, so there's quite a lot to go through. Luckily, they are kind of small because, I mean, they're just small little... <laughs> Lego sets. So let's not waste any more time, let's take a look at the first one, and this is the show stage from FNAF 6, and this looks legitimately very nice. I think my favorite thing about McFarlane is just the attention to detail that the guys have over there. Like, take a look at the characters, man. Glamrock Chica, Glamrock Freddy, and Glamrock Bonnie all look spectacular. They all have their instruments, except for Glamrock Bonnie, which is kind of disappointing. I would have liked to see him have a guitar. But Freddy has his microphone, Glamrock Chica has her maracas, so they are all there. Poor Bonnie though, man, he's missing out. The stage looks great, um, if you didn't know, this is based off the deluxe concert stage from FNAF 6. I think it's the biggest and best one that you can buy in the game. Now, I don't have a picture of it up right now, but just based off of memory, it looks pretty spot on. I like the lights, I like the clear panels going around it, I love the small little tables and stools. It has the tile flooring. It doesn't have the sparkly tiles though, so I guess they didn't fully upgrade their pizzeria. So now I'm gonna quickly read the description of the product. The best stage money can buy when building your own pizzeria, which for some reason is capitalized as if I named my pizza place Pizzeria. A buildable diorama of the deluxe concert stage from the best-selling Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, a game in the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. Includes 223 pieces for full assembly. Includes buildable Rockstar Freddy, Rockstar Chica, and Rockstar Bonnie. New, improved instructions make building fun for experts and novice builders alike. Now these have a release date of this fall. The exact date, I don't entirely know. I don't think they've put out an exact date. All I know is that these release in the fall. I would love to get all them, but right now I can't promise that I'll get them. So let's, <laughs> let's hope I can get them in the future. And I can give you guys a proper review on all these sets. So moving on to the second set from FNAF 6, this is the Star Curtain. This is the side stage that usually you'll most likely put Rockstar Freddy, or in this case, Lefty on. It is kind of disappointing that Rockstar Foxy got left out of these sets, um, because the deluxe concert stage does fit for animatronics, if I remember correctly, so that kind of sucks. And you would think they would want Foxy to be in there, because Foxy is like everyone's favorite character. Anyways, taking a look at the side curtain stage, it looks, again, pretty spot on. The curtains look great. Lefty, man, Lefty, he looks great. I love the stars up top. I love the small little speakers on each side of the stage. It looks great. Moving on to the description, it says, improve your faz rating. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that they're throwing in references. Nice job, McFarlane. With a buildable diorama of the star curtain stage from the best-selling Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, a game in the FNAF franchise. Includes 72 pieces for full assembly. Includes buildable lefty figure. Set features movable paper curtains. That's awesome. New improved instructions make building fun for experts and novice builders alike. So that is the star curtain. Now we are going to move on to the third and final set from FNAF 6, and that is the salvage room. Being completely to be honest, it's not much of a room, it is literally just a table with a cassette on it that has Molten Freddy on a stool on the other side, but I still think it looks great. Molten Freddy, I can definitely tell that they are reusing some assets because I have one of these sister location sets and I believe Yendo has that exact same body. Maybe it's different, but looking at it right now it looks to be the same, though it does look like they've changed Molten Freddy up a bit, his top hat is definitely more to one side than the other Freddy, so I'm glad that they've changed that. I'm gonna be so happy that I can finally own a Lego figure of the cassette man, Henry himself. Tell me what you guys think of these uh, sets in the comments down below, by the way. I've heard pretty mixed opinions about McFarlane. Personally, I think they're great. I always love their sets. Again, their attention to detail is so amazing. So, 
tell me, are you gonna buy these sets or are you just gonna watch people unbox them on YouTube? I personally, again, I said it earlier, I do wanna get these, but I can't promise I will right now. But anyways, let's read Molten Freddy's description. Follow these instructions, document response times, and safely secure the space while inspecting the vintage interactive attractions with this buildable diorama of the salvage room from the best-selling Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, a game in the FNAF franchise. Wow, that is a mouthful, McFarlane. Includes only 72 pieces for full assembly, includes a buildable Molten Freddy figure. Instructions include document to record animatronic <laughs> response times. Oh my god, that is great. New improved instructions make building fun for experts and novice builders alike. I freaking love that they added that line of instructions include document to record animatronic response times. That is so amazing. I see so many like little kids playing around with this and like recording, oh, he moved and then they move him a little bit. You can make a stop motion out of this. Oh my God, that 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 is gonna be so cool. It seems like I'm overhyping this, but legitimately, I can't wait to see what people do with that. That's gonna be so cool to have. Like a little sheet from the game. That's so cool. McFarlane. Round of applause, man. All right, now we are going to take a look at the sets from FNAF Help Wanted, starting off with the Upper Vent Repair. As you can see, this is Mangle's Vent Repair minigame, but in a McFarlane set, and let me just say, damn, dude, they they made this so well. Of course, the Mangle figure is reused from other sets, but, I mean, to be fair, Mango was reused from FNAF 2 to Help Wanted, so it makes sense. I do kind of wish that they had Mango in a different pose so that they could fit inside. Actually, is that even... I don't even think that that's a hole. I think that might just be a, like a sticker that you put on the building. Never mind, I'm stupid. Though if it is a hole, which again, it doesn't look like it is. Um, if it was a hole, I wish that they had Mango in a different pose so that they they could fit in the hole. As a certified vent technician, you should need no instruction for this buildable diorama of the upper vent repair, based on the minigame Vent Repair from the best-selling Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. Includes 88 pieces for full assembly, includes buildable mangle figure. New improved instructions make building fun for experts and novice builders alike. Oh my god, it actually is a small little hole. I just took a look at the side picture of it. It's actually a hole. That's great. But even if they made Mangle in different pose, I don't think that they would fit in the hole anyway. So moving on. Next up, we have parts and service for Freddy Fazbear himself. This one is kind of basic, not gonna lie. I think it might be my least favorite out of all of these sets. It reuses the Freddy model and it just has a toolbox, bench, table thingy that you put the music box on. Make sure your animatronics are fully operational with this buildable diorama of the parts and service minigame from the best-selling FNAF Help Wanted. Parts and service minigame, by the way, because and service is one word. They funked up. Includes 39 pieces for full assembly, includes buildable Freddy Fazbear figure. You know what? Maybe this build isn't all that bad because the next line is remove Freddy's bib piece and reveal his internal end skeleton. Okay, well, unfortunately, there's no picture of his endo, but that is kind of hype. I kind of like the set now. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Oh my god, Google, I actually hate you. Why do you activate when I'm not talking to you? You scare the crap out of me. <laughs> Okay, moving on to the final set. Unfortunately, there is no glitch trap set, but there is a corn maze set from Dreadbear. And I think this might be my favorite one. Maybe because I love corn maze so much, but look at this. It comes with three panels from the game that you can hide behind, and it has Grim Foxy. What more could you ask for? The Grim Foxy figure looks absolutely amazing. Let me just say that. The panels, though, holy crap. Those are freaking fantastic. They look like they were pulled straight out of the game. Being honest, they probably were. <laughs> but that is just, that's incredible. Honestly, I would buy this set just for the panels. But luckily, Grim Foxy figure comes with it as well as an exit door. So yeah, this has got to be my favorite one. It just, it looks so good. And I love Corn Maze. From the spooky Halloween DLC, Curse of Dread, Bear comes a buildable diorama of the corn maze from the best-selling FNAF VR Help Wanted. Includes 39 pieces for full assembly, includes a buildable Grim Foxy figure. New, improved instructions make building fun for experts and novice builders alike. Yeah, so that is, that is Corn Maze. Again, fantastic set. And that is all of the sets. This news is a little late because these sets were revealed maybe like last week, but I haven't seen a whole lot of people talk about them, so I thought I'd just at least make a video on them. So yeah, they come out this fall, 
I'm excited for them. I think they look fucking fantastic. Tell me what you guys think. And that's it for me today. Tomorrow, I should have my mystery minis for Security Breach. Just saying, just saying. On the website, it says Monday the 31st. So, let's cross our fingers, boys. Tomorrow, the mystery minis are out. Anyways, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all on the flip side.